Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our hood release cable. Now this cable of course is going to lead from the latch all the way into the passenger compartment. We're going to start out by the latch. To gain access to this, we're going to move along to removing several push clips. To remove push clips, you just come right underneath the center and carefully lift it up. I'm going to use a trim tool. Once you have it up and unlocked, that's what it should look like. We'll remove all of them. Now that we have those off of there, we have plenty of room from this area. Let's continue in this area. We're going to remove three 10 millimeter headed bolts, two along the passenger side of the latch and one over on the other side. Now let's carefully lift up on this area right here and we're going to grab onto this and pull it up so we can access it. Now with this out in the open, you can see the area that the cable goes into the latch. It just slides right in. I'm going to carefully get under this area and lift it up and out through the groove. There we are. Now that we have that popped out of its original groove, let's go ahead and turn this over. Now if you were to look at the inside, you can see exactly where that cable comes through the bracket. Now as I take this, I'm going to bring it down into the groove and you can tell that it slides out of the area inside the latch here. Now we'll just go ahead and move that a little bit so we can access this. There's our latch. All right, now it's time to install our hood latch. When we do this, we want to put the cable through the forward aspect. We'll turn this over, and then we're going to put the rest of the cable through this area. You can see it's right inside the groove there. Now I can release that, we'll turn this over, and we're going to slide the groove of the cable into the housing. Once it's lined up, go ahead and lock it in. Listen for a click, give it a tug to make sure it's secure and it cannot fall off. Now let's bring it down and put it in the original position. I'm going to grab my three mounting bolts, we'll start all three of them in. Now we're going to have to put this in the original position as when we removed it. If you were to look at the body, typically you're going to see some sort of markings from the latch that lets you know exactly where it needs to be mounted. So I'll just go ahead and line that up. And now I'm going to tighten up all three of my mounting bolts. Make sure it looks good. It does. Let's put in our push clips. All right, so now that everything's attached properly, we're going to go ahead and test this before we shut the hood. It's very important to make sure it functions before you go ahead and close the hood. To do that, I'm going to use a 90 degree pick. Come in through the front and I'm going to come right along this tab. Essentially, I'm using the pick as if it's the hood. I'll press down the locking actuator here. 
And at that point, it's latched in. I can't lift this up. So we're going to pay attention to this area. I'm going to get inside the passenger compartment, and I'm going to pull on that handle. As you can tell, it released just as it was supposed to. Now I'm going to go ahead and check it one last time, this time with the hood. It's definitely latched. Pull the handle. Now we can go ahead and open the hood. Okay, friends, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.